Hello Year 4, we're doing some more revision. This time we're going to look at some addition and we're using a method that we taught you at the beginning of Year 4. There's lots of methods for doing an addition but this one can be very useful sometimes. It's called round and adjust and a, and a tangle so we sometimes call it the house number method. In this video again we're going to pause the video about six times to see if you have uh, fully understood the six steps that we're going to use for this method. So what's step one? What's the first question you ask yourself? It's which column are we looking at to do round and adjust? The first thing we've got to do is to round one of those two numbers. We either round 159 or we round 283. Which column would we be looking at to do that? The hundreds, the tens, or the ones? Yes, it's the ones column that we're looking at. And, and what are the digits that we've got in those two ones columns there? We've got a nine, haven't we, in this number, and a three in this number. Now, which one, which of those two numbers are we going to round? And are we going to round it up or are we going to round it down? How do we work that out? What's the next question that we ask ourselves? Looking at that 9 and looking at that 3. What's the important question to ask here? Yes, it's which of those two digits is nearest to 0? And the answer is the 9. The 9 is nearer to 0 than the 3. The 9 is just 1 away from 0 if we round that up. The 3 is 3 away from 0 if we round it down. So we choose the 9 because it's nearest. We round it up. That means we round 159 up to 160. Now this is called round and adjust. So we round one number and we adjust the other number. So we need now to adjust 283. How do we do that? Yes, we rounded the first number up and we had to get an extra 1 from somewhere. 159 plus 1 makes 160. Where did that 1 come from? The only place it can come from is the other number. So we have to adjust that now because it's lost 1. And instead of being 283 now, it's lost one and gone down to 282. What's the next step now? Getting the zeros is good. That's what we're aiming to do in this method. 159 plus 283, that's a hard addition to do, isn't it? Couldn't do that in my head. But once we start getting zeros into numbers, it just becomes a lot easier to add up. So we've got one zero in this number. What we need to do is to now get that number into two zeros. Now, how can we get that number to two zeros? Yes, we need to round that up or down. And it's going to be easier here to round it up. We'll find out why in a moment. If we round that up by adding 40, that gets us up to 200. We've got two zeros now. How do we adjust the other number? Yes, we had to find 40 from somewhere to get this rounded up to 200. Where did the 40 come from? Had to come from the other number. So that's not 282 anymore. That's gone down. We've adjusted that down to 242. Just by the way, if we'd have rounded 160 down to 100, sometimes that helps, but it wouldn't have done this time because then we'd have had to put that 60 somewhere. We'd have had to put it on the 282 and that's a bit more complicated. So we cho chose the easiest option today by rounding 160 up. It worked better with the numbers we've got. We've nearly finished now. We've got two zeros. I think you could all do that final addition in your head couldn't you but just to follow the process through we're actually going to turn one of the numbers into 
a zero. That column's number is going to become a zero. We keep working where we've already got two zeros. How, how do we get one of those columns just to be zero? Yeah, simple as that really. We take that 200 away. We've got nothing left in that column. Where does that 200 go? It's got to go to the other number, so it's not 242 anymore. It's an extra 200, 442. And there is a really, really simple addition because we're adding zero to something. And that's the answer to our addition, 442.